that said, Axon Amsa dumpstered that last set, so, uh, you know, still anyone's game. I, I am curious, though, like, if it's going to look really different from the winner set or if it's going to be similar. Presumably, yeah. we won't see any crazy 1v2 comebacks like that again, but you I never know. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, we've had <laughs> quite a, a lot of them today. Yeah, more, more than normal for sure. Oh, oh. Okay, already a lot of down smashes coming out. Building up percent on Axe. Oh, okay, okay, team combo here. Okay, no. Uh, Axe does barely get out. Um, looks like that could be a stock. Oh, and... Really? Oh, gets okay. that gimp. Oh, and Spark, you know, had a little needle, but didn't end up making a difference. Um, Spark is actually a really excellent saver. Um, yeah, he definitely that's, is. That's for sure one of his best double skills. Um, ooh, okay, yeah, it's right there, like, might have been able to set up for a team combo on Amsa, um, but already okay anyway. Feels like we're seeing a lot more downs, like, right there than the winner set. Oh, God, Spark and Polish, we have seen um, them hit each other quite a lot. Yeah. Usually, Polish hitting Spark, and at higher, higher levels of play, it's usually the person who gets hit's fault that they got hit for putting themselves in a zone where their teammate was logically supposed to cover. Yeah. That's the more common reason why that'll happen. Um, oh. Okay, okay. It looks like Spark would get a CC punish on Ops right there. It didn't quite happen. Uh, mm, like oh. Spark kind of abandoning Polish on the right side of the stage there. Maybe like... Oh, oh that wow. kill on Ops was so early. Yeah, wow. But, yeah. Just, okay. Yeah, bonked. Left side of Battlefield there. Smacked right into the stage. Something I'd really like to see Red Team do is commit to the ledge guard slightly later. Try to go for a 2v1 for at least, you know, like one second. These characters, like, you know, they don't they take need a, a second to recover. Not yeah. like to say it'll take forever, like a Samus, but like they're. Especially like, Yoshi, yeah. It's yeah. Like and during that time, that, that increases your chance of getting the kill on the recovering player because you zone out the person who's going to come try to save and disrupt. That's an interesting um, mini interaction. Opso was doing the egg stall. Polis tried to challenge it with down smash, but Opso just tech the down smash. Because we were talking about how that's not like fully invincible. Oh, oh the oh, triple back oh. air. of pain coming out for not Peach. matter. That recovery from <laughs> Pikachu just very hard to deal with. Yeah. Um, Egg's helping out from Opso. <laughs> Interesting to see Polish playing so aggressive. Yeah, um, this is a <laughs> huge change of pace, it feels like, for the winner set, just in terms of move choice oh, and who's taking points. Wow. Peach living from that that down smash at uh, 130 oh, in the corner. Oh, snags the ledge. Spark Polish looking really good right now still. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, oh, so close for Polish living. Uh, oh, and that's the second time we've seen Amsa, like, Get into a weird situation on the left ledge, uh, like kind of getting himself reversal somewhat. Okay, fair, fair on shield into down smash, pretty standard peach stuff. Um, tried and true, definitely do that. Hard for Yoshi oh. to get out of shield too. Keeps a lot of time <laughs> for uh, keeping Yoshi at bay if he has to sit in shield over there and drop it, get out of it. It takes a while for them to go help their teammate like oh. you were mentioning earlier. And Om Omsa is actually just not living very long in this game. Uh, that definitely seems to be the biggest difference this game. Uh, oh, grab, grab, yeah, right. and a, Might as well. Uh, grab and one of me too. Um, losing the game <laughs> once again. It's, it's, it's starting to <laughs> wear on you, I can tell. I mean, I, I, I've seen, I've seen this book before, right? This story has been written. Um, yeah, I think you know, Amsa definitely just kind of getting himself killed a little bit quickly there. I, Spark was playing the platforms quite a lot, which made it, um, he made his stocks last, but wasn't really picking up on Polish's hits much. So, you know, I think a different stage, maybe even without a top platform, Spark might play positioned a little bit more, um, like, aggressively. Or, you know, Put themselves a little bit setup. more risk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it could be a trade-off. Um, but I, I noticed him retreating his top platform, like, quite a lot when um, they were actually the group team and the other team was separated. The kind of ABBA formation. Um, Dude, look how thin Spark's wrist is. <laughs> how tight that band is. And it's like halfway of his arm. You know, Spark, yeah, anybody who knows him knows his diet is rather limited. Um, definitely not a glutton. You know, you really? see him eat sparingly, although not very healthy. So yeah, maybe he'll get some. Chicken nuggets and milkshakes. Yeah, tacos as well. 
with um, like nothing on them. Yeah. <laughs> Hamburgers yeah. with <laughs> no cheese. Just. I gotta say, one of the funniest things for me in life that I've seen repeatedly is Hamburger Spark. All oh, he goes, he goes plain burger, just the meat and the pat, <laughs> just the patty and the bun, nothing else on it. And they always mess it up and put stuff on it, and he always looks so sad. I've seen this happen at least like eight times in my life, and he, he specifies plain burger three times every time, like at a drive-thru. You're talking about anyway. Sparks eating yeah. ass? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spark and Typhoon, very interesting uh, yeah. Not overlapping uh, with Billet's eating habits because Billet's a bit vegan. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, so back to Battlefield. Uh, blue team doing quite a bit stronger this time. See, we're all seeing Spark again. If was Spark a vegan, he'd only eat hot Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> no, those aren't that, vegan. Yeah, but those cheese. And they like right. sweet oh, chili true. Doritos or something. But we saw right there also how, again, Spark kind of left Polish, and they keep ending up on opposite sides of the stage with Spark on top platform. Um, you know, I know it's... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's an uh, interesting attempt trying to land on stage with that bear. Oh. Uh, and, you know, punish for the fourth row. Um, again, it, it takes a lot of discipline not to grab in, like, uh, 2v2 situations where your teammate isn't set up with you. Ooh, Ooh okay. Yeah. Like, recovering to the platform there, that gives your teammate time to come and interrupt. Yeah, something nice about Sheik's recovery in teams is, like, you know, she does get an insulin from the poof, so she can at least usually get back to stage. Um, not to say that we'll always let her live, but we'll let her get her jump back and have usually subsequent chances of... Covering. Yeah, and with okay. platforms and stuff, it becomes a lot less ambiguous and not being able to see the trajectory of it and whatnot, it can be a little bit harder to edge guard. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Spark does have excellent recovery mix-ups. Uh, if you play them in singles, I'm sure people have noticed it can be really frustrating to kill him. Ooh. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Polish looking uh, like in a bad spot for a second, managed to get out. Red team um, doing a pretty good job fighting the corner, but then Spark rolls in and gets grabbed. Uh, yeah, Spark's Spark. been rolling in a lot to <laughs> blue team in, in the winter set too, but uh, yeah. it feels like the the blue team either they're not getting big punishes or just the comp can't really do much off the the roll in, you know. Yeah, we we saw in, in the other set oh, that they played that, that. Um, Spark did get punished more, uh, but yeah, hadn't really gotten killed much for it. Oh, oh the up air to dare, but still, <laughs> still not getting it, <laughs> yeah, getting the kill. Oh, nice swat dodge from Ops. Oh, yeah, Yoshi's oh, pressure can actually. Yeah, the pressure, <laughs> but. Uh, Polish goes for the back throw. Axe just run up and up smash if he was just, mm. you know, patiently waiting for that. Okay, can either uh, red team die? Because they're definitely separated, but yeah. Okay, blue team. Oh, okay. Good there for Max. Really easy to kill Spark, though. Polish gone. Okay, runs up with the down smash. Nice open oh, up. Axe playing pretty good out of the corner there, but then um, still gets up smashed by Spark. Yet yeah, we've seen a lot of really good ledge play and today in general. Oh, oh the trade! Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Polish has had such good recoveries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've, been, they've been creative for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a lot of good recoveries too. Okay, yeah. this, this, is, this is really tight. How long can Obza hold this stock or how much damage can he get on Oh my god, axe? the Polish target switching is so fast. Oh! Okay. Yeah, back, back throw, but um, Sheik at low enough percent that the downer doesn't you know, set up for a terrible spot. Oh, oh so, okay, so Spark trying to go in. It doesn't need too much punishment, but oh, they're not getting it. they're not getting enough right now. Um, red team is oh, in. Oh, that was weird <laughs> yeah, interaction like, with Yoshi. Yeah, missed. Yeah. Oh, the crowd always cheers for Yoshi. <laughs> That's not five like percent. <laughs> the crowd okay, okay. Oh, oh. okay. Mark Polish on the verge of potentially going up 2-0 here in the run back. Yeah, I'm at zero though, so. You know, oh, oh, oh wow, that, that, that was crazy. Up smash, smash should nice. yeah. spark. Okay, okay. One, one. we're in oh. for another <laughs> another banger of a set, it looks like. Yeah, shockingly, like, just so evenly matched. Just back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Um, you know, in doubles, a lot of times, like, especially as sets go on, like, one team can make an adjustment, and, you know, it can make a huge difference, just converting in one or two situations consistently just a higher um, variance format by nature and to be able to be like this consistent at it between four separate people <laughs> playing yeah. four separate characters <laughs> and a game this fast is yeah definitely uh, something okay um <laughs> you know i feel like polish and spark look a little bit tired compared to before right they're so energetic in their conversations before but axonov is still <laughs> vibing that's a good note <laughs> you know the crowd's going go crazy right now <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Going to Guardians Amsa. Ooh. So nice <laughs> yeah. They're playing to the crowd. Oh. 
Golden Guardians, wow. Yeah. It's like Oracle in here. Yeah, such a wholesome team. Chase they must get Center, a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's where the Warriors play. Like yeah, the, they moved to San Francisco. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah like the I'd... antithesis of Spark, Ma I mean, Magi Fat Goku. <laughs> uh, the least wholesome team of all time. <laughs> If, if you guys uh, haven't conversed with Fat Goku much, he definitely has some dismissive things to say about doubles as a format. <laughs> um, okay, so and just people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it's>, yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> kind of has that like left knee vibe if you're like a random that tries to interact with him. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, again, having conversations. Also, I'm Spark is using the in-game audio. For it's worth, so like he can probably still converse quite easily. It's not like he's listening to music to vibe. Um, so you know, the headphones don't, don't really mean anything. Yeah, in that yeah. Something to keep in mind. Something. Like, wow. Okay, axe. Big stock. And yeah, we saw them counter pick FD in winners um, as their first pick. Okay, yeah. Good, uh, good disruption from Polish. I, I feel like FD is can be good for teams, especially this team with Spark, because. Simplifying the game plan and just reducing it to a you know lower number of options can make it really easy to have your correct decisions on deck, like prime you for the situations. And just the removal of platforms against a character like Yoshi as well just has some objectionable advantages too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Funny drip mix up. The their their empty play that. is interesting for blue team. Like Ops is just kind of playing very cornered and throwing eggs, and you know if they hit they combo to something from X, but. Uh, it's like a good way to mix up how they play because they're oh. so platform heavy as a team comp. Okay, okay. Polish off stage. Yeah. Uh, not getting that much damage on Lamsa, but you know we're, we're starting to see maybe the oh, oh parries oh. into <laughs> fair. Wow. That just straight up kills off the top. FD has a pretty low ceiling. Um. Oh, okay, no okay, yeah. See, see, you here. see Red Team just doing a better job picking up on each other's hits here. It is easier on this stage with no you know, platforms to slide off. And also, again, it makes the whole game plan and like perception of what's going on on the screen quite a bit easier. Like, um, There's a reason why a lot of times people just like FD and teams in general. Like, makes the team strategy like flow. Okay, Blue Team not able to convert on the double shielding thing. A lot of times if both players are shielding, it's like a really bad spot. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Some H-Box. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. that yeah. move is quite a bit worse than Puff's yeah. version yeah. of that. <laughs> oh, Puff's that's characteristic. Yeah. I was lauding the edge play earlier and um, one of our first big flubs. Oh, oh. oh. Players learning some new movement tactics. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, red team like Best. really struggling right now, but if they don't die, yeah, you know, it's, it doesn't matter that much. They're getting any, every percent is good percent right now. They're, they're getting a lot now. Okay, Spark still had jump. Oh, okay, Spark is dead there. Right, right there, we really saw how, how it can be hard for Peach Sheik when they're separated. Like, they just. They're so slow at getting back together, yeah. especially if they're both at like heavy disadvantage. And also heavily telegraphed one alone too, <laughs> with their like yeah. recoveries. And, and you know, she can often do that with platforms, but um, that's clearly not an option right here. Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh. Doesn't hold on to that stock, but you know, stock well lived. Oh, I like okay. the reverse egg toss, kind of okay, covering okay. the approach from Polish. Ooh. That could have been really big on Spark if Omsa had managed to, to find another hit there. Um, <laughs> these CC down smashes this game, just letting him rip and having quite a bit of effect, although hitting Spark sometimes too. All right, oh, get up attack works out. Get up attack can be really uh, risky in team. Another axe uh, toss. Uh, yeah, see, there's Ooh. like, oh, this is oh, oh, okay. Forward air. Forward air. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought we'd probably see an up air attempt. Oh. Not sure if Spark wanted to go for that angle, but maybe he, he just floated yeah. way above. Avoided okay. the 2v1. Really close, really close. Red team needs to make something happen, though. They're taking a lot of percent, just, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh that's yay. not good for uh, Axe. That's a decent amount of percent yeah, there. They don't necessarily have to kill Omsa right away if they get a lot of percent on Axe. That's, yeah. that's pretty much just as good in these spots. Oh, oh, Phantom on Spark. That could have comboed into a lot from Axe. Can Spark hit Axe? No. Oh. Spark too worried about uh, Omsa pressuring him. Yeah. Spark playing pretty far back. 
And oh, okay, the oh, the kill. Yeah, and now acts at such high percent. It's gonna be and really hard. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. yeah. Cause if if Axe landed on Sage, you just would have been dead from Spark, so. Yeah, Peach not having a good invincibility refresh available there the way. Oh, and the, oh, the parasol oh. does it. <laughs> Axe, Axe seemed like he waited a little bit so he could try and up smash both of them, but that wait led to both of them living. Okay, oh. okay. Oh, the oh. shield girl not getting punished for yeah. the grab. So close. Not close enough. So close. Okay, okay. Oh, we could we see another Polish 2v1. Yeah. Oh. Spark with Zelda. Not quite enough. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Polis has <laughs> been so just You know they're starting to have flashbacks the ledge. already. Yeah, this is the third time we've seen the situation between these four players in this oh. bracket. Polish is really smart out of disadvantage. Keeps navigating out of like hairy spots like seamlessly. Yeah. Like like a razor. <laughs> <laughs> Cut straight through the Okay. No, the over a hundred roll taking the ledge for so long. Um, something you actually a hundred percent have to pay attention to. Um, can be really good against Sheik especially, because it'll cover her straight up poof if you roll over a hundred. Yeah, it does. I love it when that happens to me. <laughs> yeah, you can actually cover all of her angle Entire, mix yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, really uh, important win right there. You know, game game three in these one one situations is often like the you know the turning point in the set. Um, they probably will pick FD again as they have shown strong preference for that. Um, I, I feel like. If, if Spark could like position a little bit closer, uh, not just for like team combos, but just to be a little bit more menacing. Um, it seems like Spark really like wants to not get hit, but you know, threatening a little bit more, I think could be a strong play. Because we're seeing Polish get in there so aggressively that like Spark kind of needs to be ready to back Polish up, I believe. A little more chat. Yeah, they're they're talking, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you're, yeah, it looks like Polish is trying to like like carry Spark on right now a little bit. Yeah, I see the energy. I mean, th like you were saying, from both of them, but they the one gets Spark a, a completely flying hamburger stat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's cheese on this. <laughs> and like, you know, I, I think Spark could stand to down smash more too. Like down smash is such a strong move in teams that a lot of times, like the starting advice for a Sheik who's never played teams is. When you want to grab, go for down smash instead. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think setting yeah, up. Yeah, Polish is letting really them rip, strong. but not not Spark as much. And there's the down smash. Polish almost getting a conversion there. Could have been. You know, Could have been the sock. Okay. Okay. Oh, Spark with great jump out. Okay. Okay. Kind of a weird spot. Ah! Oh, they both <laughs> lived. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And Spark vacating the the corner with that over oh. 100 roll. Over 100 roll right there. Yeah. <laughs> Pole is doing everything they can to clear away, but does not matter with that roll. Hot Spark could up smash there on the uh, DIN on the ground throw. Maybe I'm missing one though. Oh. <laughs> I love that Pikachu sound. <laughs> Against Yoshi, the DIN. Yeah, he should have been able to have smash. Yeah, I, yeah, didn't, I, I didn't see the di in particular. Yeah, he was at a 110 good. after the throw. Yeah, that, I, I thought that's an up smash. Like I've seen Jay that up smash works for like percent, percent, like for quite a long time. Yeah. Yeah, and Spark actually is very good against Yoshi. If, if y'all have seen him play, in fact, wasn't one, one of his breakout, breakout wins. Yeah, was he was at Omsa. Smash Camp. You beat Omsa yeah, and then Mango. And Mango, yeah. yeah. So, um, and then everybody's like, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> After that happened, it was like, He ended yeah. the set against Omsa with a sticky walk tipper up Smash, actually. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was a sick set. I, I've definitely seen Spark make Yoshi look pretty bad. <laughs> like, oh. So again, we, we have a pretty close set, or game. Um, that said, Red Team doing well. Liking what I'm seeing. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, barely lands still. on stage. Mark probably okay. Yeah. A little yeah, slow there on the punish. Sammy Nair. I don't think he wanted full hop. I think he wanted a short hop Sammy Nair, but actually went oh. full hop. Ouch. I'll smash out of shield. Axe, even with the light shield, able to act like enough. <laughs> More CC down smashes. Oh, Spark, CC, you know, going in there. So Spark oh, oh, oh my wow. god. I, yeah, <laughs> lucky Spark is at such low percent. Yeah. You know, it's a disaster. More uh, rolling and spot dodging from Spark. <laughs> pretty good in doubles, I gotta say. Yeah, really hard to pick up on that stuff and creating scraps. 
Like, um, you know, she gets so strong in those, like, really close quarter things with her CC and those quick buttons. All set, I've been seeing Axe, to, like, toggle his shield, like, the light hard press, or at least make it, like, bigger, smaller. Mm -hmm. Pikachu had with not a great shield, especially on the backside. Um, the, you know, shielding the appropriate amount and also, like, oh, um, shield angling. Like, oh, a spark! Not quite judging the distance correctly. I think, yeah, so, some of this, like, spark playing the ledge, controlling the ledge, like, a little bit YouTube King S could also be good. Um, you know, spark is very good at that in general. So yeah. it could be a strong strategy. Um, you know, I tend to prefer when cheeks get in there a little bit more, but it, it could be good in this spot. All right. Yeah, like, this attrition stuff is really good from Red Team right now. They're just really able to nickel and dime Blue Team and, like, you know, take advantage of Blue Team's lack of easy kill setups. Oh, that oh. was... Some weird teching happening, but a lot of percent on blue team oh, for that okay, situation. With, uh, a very rare SD. The dude loves the ledge, so <laughs> don't see <laughs> I'll those just dash right. dancing under X. Oh, oh, oh. I, I don't know about that grab. Yeah, I, I think just keep going with the aerials. Well. Yeah, I think so as well. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, I really would have liked to see them uh, collapse towards the left side of the stage and pressure on off stage there. Yeah, uh, but, but Spark ended up rolling behind X. Okay, okay. Ooh, that dash is getting caught. See, I, that's, I love that from Polish. See, Polish just immediately target switching and then going for the sandwich. I think that's exactly what they should be doing. Yeah, sandwiching with Sheik and Peach is just so yeah. brutal. Monstrous, like. Oh, that back throw that. actually sets up Polish for a potential <laughs> edge guard on Axe. Now they both oh. kind of have corner pressure going on there. Oh, Axe oh. with incredible space! Oh, oh the oh, dare straight oh up my kills! God. It was real that deep was, to get that kill on Sheik. The balls on this man. Oh, my God. Going for that approach and then converting so readily. Oh, oh the CC. CC. Smart. Okay, okay. Can can they get onto here? Mm. Onto yes. really able to get back from these more than I would expect. Paul is drifting a little too oh! far away. No, red team. And now this is hard for Spark. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Wow. Oh, Big that comeback. Just crumbled there at the end. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that was like a profound joke. But, uh, <laughs> both <laughs> profound oh, joke. Just, it looks like you can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were the sets have been so good. And, like, you know, there's been an incredible play. And then they both just dropped the ball right there. Um, I am surprised Spark was so scared that he tried to, like, do that retreating fair and drop low. Obviously, you know, you, do, you are going to be a little bit scared in that spot, but still. Oh, we got Svat Umar coming back to the stage. Uh, oh man, oh, that's deflating. Um, and I just thought they were starting to like.